Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your bonus uh, timeless reading. I'm just gonna trust that you will find this reading whenever you need it. And uh, this is gonna be a uh, what you need to know at this time. It's actually gonna be a what you need to know, hear, see, whatever. Uh, so we're just gonna see what comes up for you here, Scorpio. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of uh, what is going on for you at this time, Scorpio. Uh, also, make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are linked down below. Uh, there are tons of scammers, spammers, and you know all that other stuff that are going on at this time. So. Uh, I will never contact you asking for money. I will also never offer personal readings. So make sure you don't get scammed. But uh, Scorpio, let's see here. A lot of people showing up in your reading. Um, so for some of you, what you might need to know is that, you know, whenever you're watching this video, uh, in the near future, you might be dealing with a lot of people. You have the uh, Ten of Wands here. I do get major responsibility in this first row. Seven of Wands with the Emperor is committing to a lot of responsibility here. So I do feel that for some of you there that over the next few months, there could be some burdens. As I always say, the Ten of Wands is not necessarily a bad card. It's like, yeah, it can represent burdens, but uh, normally this person, number one, tens represent, represent the end. So don't even get me started on that one. But number two, it's like this person is walking towards their reward. They're about to get to a village on the traditional Ten of Wands. So it's kind of like saying you're coming to the end of a very long journey. And, um, you know, the Ten of Wands can represent being responsible, but it's usually for a reason. And you have the world right here, which is like an accomplishment. So it's like I don't like when... You know, people say like, oh, Ten of Wands is a bad card and respond, like it, they make it seem like responsibility is a bad thing. It's like, trust me, being responsible is a good thing, obviously, and it can lead to rewards in your life. You have the Seven of Wands, the Emperor, uh, the Page of Cups, and the World, an accomplishment coming in for you here, Scorpio. So I feel like what you don't see coming is that, yeah, like I, basically what this is saying is on the other side of your hard work is success. The success you've probably been waiting for for some of you, I feel that this has been like a dream. So it's like if you're finding success, I feel like you've been it, you've been having this like dream about it, or it almost feels like a dream. Sometimes I think if we're working towards a goal for a very long period of time, it almost becomes like we're like there's no way in hell I'm ever gonna accomplish this. So it can be kind, it can become kind of like dreamy, you know, or we start to feel like, oh my God, this is never going to happen. I feel like you've been in that place where you feel like something is never going to, like you're, it's almost like you're never going to reach the end. But I feel like what you don't see coming is that you're about to reach the end of something here. The Seven of Wands is kind of like, you know, the reason that you're receiving this reward is the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a card of conviction. It says when you know that you know that you're gonna be successful, you will be very successful. And it's like a card of committing to something on a very deep level, which I feel like you have done here, Scorpio. It's like you've been, I feel like you've been very committed to something. It doesn't matter if it's love, it doesn't matter if it's a business, uh, health, whatever. It's like you're getting your reward. Uh, you have the Two of Swords here. Uh, like uh, in a lot of ways, this is, starting to lead me to believe that this is like that final push that you're making. You have the hangman here, and dreaming, right? And the ace of pentacles, really nice. Definitely, this is your reward right here. Like I said, the two of swords, the reason I say it's your final push is because the two of swords is kind of like with that ten of wands. It's like you're at the end, you're not quite there yet. You're still experiencing the burdens. Two of Swords is like almost your answer, your solution, I feel. Uh, if she were just to turn around and see, she would see this new land behind her, she is like fearing getting injured by these two rocks that are in the water. If she just took her blindfold off, she would see those two rocks. She would easily be able to get to those new lands. And she would see that the tide is out. She could walk right across. She doesn't even need a boat. She could just walk right across to the new lands. And that's kind of like what I feel for you. It's almost like you're, um, what you need to know at this time here, Scorpio, is that it's like you're waiting for something. But I actually feel like things could move forward much quicker with that Knight of Swords as well. Knight of Swords can be like a little bit of a rushing energy, but I almost feel like saying perfection is the enemy here in your reading, you know? So I feel like trying to make things perfect, three of wands, waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. I feel like that could be um, slowing you down. And I, the other thing that I would say here is a lot of swords, people showing up here, king of swords, page of swords, uh, knight of swords here. To me, it's kind of like saying that there are just other ways of doing things. You have the Two of Swords twice. I didn't even realize here. And the Two of Swords even, really the Eight of Swords is the card of 
so that, that says there are other ways of doing things, but two swords is pretty close. And um, the hangman can say, maybe you have heard the answers, maybe you found the answers of what you need to do to accomplish something. But it's like you could be preventing yourself uh, from moving forward. So I feel like it's like time to take action here. You have the four swords next here, Scorpio. I feel like a waiting energy on this as well. I'm going to see what the next card is here, Scorpio as well. Queen of Cups could be you here. Um, I personally read the Queen of Cups as Scorpio. I know most people read it as Cancer, um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, I read it as uh, Scorpio sometimes, and I do feel like this is your energy here. It's like you're resting. I feel like you need to trust your intuition here as well. You have the Three of Wands, the King of Swords, and the King of Pentacles, and it's like it's almost like needing to see what's on the other side. I almost get this energy of curiosity, which we do see right here. I would like to see a little bit more mystery here for me to say that this is one of those readings where you kind of need to see something. It's like the, the message that's popping into my head is it's like, I don't know if you've ever seen one of those like YouTube videos where they're like, what's in the box? And they make people put their hand in the box and there's like a snake in the box or there's like a, a fuzzy like rabbit or something like that in the box, but they don't know. Uh, I, I kind of get that feeling for you here, Scorpio, in this, and I'm getting it mostly in this middle row, although I feel like it has to do with the whole reading. It's almost like the reading is saying, what's in the box? What's, what's inside the, um, you know, what's inside something here like what do you you know there's something on the other side of a door and i feel like you need to open that doorway here scorpio whatever whatever the case may be maybe that's not the right way to put it it's almost like you're opening a can of worms right it's like you know sometimes i think we can make decisions in life where it's like if we do it it's <laughs> it's it's almost like we're we're uh, screwing ourselves right scorpio where it's like if we make a decision it's like there is no going back i kind of get that feeling here on the seven of wands um so what the hell does that mean well what i would say is it's like sometimes i think we have a choice we could like quit a job or we could um stay at the job, but it's like if we quit, there's no going back, right? Um, and I feel some of you could be kind of in that, like like a little bit of a, a pickle, like limbo with the uh, hangman, where it's like if, you're ma if you make a decision, it is going to be a final decision. I mean, it, it, there, it will be no going back. It could be in love. Maybe you're thinking about leaving a person and there will be no going back. Maybe it's a business, whatever. Uh, but it's like there's no going back. And it's like, that's what I feel here. Boom. You cannot make this up. There is a portal here, portal here. So like I said, it's like you need to see what's on the other side of the, a doorway. The four wands is a card of completion, it is a card of reaching a finish line. I feel like you need to step through this portal here on the four wands because uh, there will be a major celebration when you make this change here, Scorpio, is what I would say for you. Yeah, you, but you cannot make this up. Uh, King of Swords twice. Basically, the universe saying, I meant what I said. King of Swords knows. <laughs> that's the thing. I feel like that's you. It's like you know that there is something you have to do here. You have the Nine of Cups. Boring uh, is what I'm going to say to you, Scorpio. King of P Pentacles. Nine of I didn't even talk about the King of Pentacles because the King of Pentacles is boring. Uh, King of Pentacles is just like is always doing what he's always done, right? He is just boring. The most boring person you've ever met. Probably has a pocket protector for his pens, right? Probably organizes his little, uh, you know, his forks and his spoons and his knives and his, uh, you know, drawer, right, at home. Like one of those. Probably has like a little napkin and everything all neat, right? Boring, boring is what I would say to you here, Scorpio. Scorpio, so very boring energy. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is good, but it's just contentment. It's just like, oh, I'm happy. I'm, you know, again, I organize my forks and spoons and knives. I don't know. I'm all upset about dishes today for some reason, Scorpio. Uh, you know, I, I wear a pro pocket protector, probably tucks in his shirt as well, right? So, you know, what I would say here is that I feel like for some of you, uh, what you've been experiencing is pretty boring. Uh, so I feel like on the other side of this doorway here that I'm seeing in my head, there is a major celebration. Uh, pretty simple is what I would say to you. I feel like you need to kind of like make, you know, uh, go to the other side or make this change here. Next, you have the Ace of Cups. Uh, again, all three water signs had something about like your very similar to all three, water, you know, the other two water signs. But I feel like you need to move towards your heart, something like where your heart is. That's where all the success is going to be for you. You have the uh, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Two of Swords here. A lot of swords energy. Normally, I feel like the Knight of Swords is says, "Don't rush." I would definitely take your time, right, on any decisions you're making and all this other stuff. But at the same, you know, at the same time, the Knight of Swords is a card of momentum. So I feel like you are building a lot of momentum towards something that is like making you curious. Again, I feel like again, I like just see this door, and it's like you're kind of like not opening it all the way, but I feel like you're like peeking through the door and basically and looking at what's on the other side. So again, this could be anything. You could be looking at getting into a new relationship, starting a new business, um, whatever the case may be. 
but there's like a lot of mystery there. I feel like this guy here is you, I feel like you know that the past, like where you are right now might be a little boring or just needs, like I feel like you need to add a little bit more spiciness to your life. So it's like you're trying to make things um, spicy here, Scorpio. So let's see uh, where this is going. You have the Knight of Cups. Yep, Knight of Cups is a dream. Very similar to Page of Cups. Page of Cups, he has that fish in his cup. It could easily leap out of the fish. Knight of Cups, he's kind of looking in the cup. He's imagining his dream life. Could be a knight in shining armor. Although, again, these aren't really love readings. I mean, they could be talking about love, but I feel like this is a bigger picture thing for you, Scorpio. It's like he could be moving towards a dream. He might not be, right? It's like he's kind of thinking about it, but I feel like you need to. Fool, you're ready for this leap of faith. Definitely time for you to take a leap of faith towards the new land that's on the Two of Swords. And the Five of Wands, uh, like I've been saying, um, you know, again, yeah, there will be there will be burdens. There will be responsibilities for you in this new land. I mean, this is basically what all my readings have been about. People keep saying, you repeat yourself on all your readings. I'm like, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much do. I, again, I'm, a, I'm like a parrot. I just said this to Cancer. I'm a parrot, basically. Um, because, again, this is what the universe wants us to do right now. The universe is basically saying, hey, everybody, not just you, Scorpio, but definitely you, because it shows up here in your reading. You have the opportunity to like exceed your ex own expectations. You have an opportunity to live a life better than what you've experienced for a very long period of time, but it's going to require work. It's not going to just magically happen, and it's going to require some extra responsibilities. But if you do that, then you'll be very successful as well. The universe is really trying to get us, you know, the way I think about this, Scorpio, is like the universe is trying to get us to raise our vibration. So it's like, um, you know, as far as love is concerned, it's like the universe could be saying, yeah, there's someone who's much better than anything you could ever imagine having in, in your life, but you you have to meet them at least halfway, right? If not more. So the universe is requiring us to do the things to like raise our vibration to match that level, whatever it may be, right? So for some of us, that might mean um, that maybe we want to be with a person who's healthy, then maybe we have to get healthy. Maybe we want to be with a person who uh, makes money. Maybe then we we have to make money, right? It's kind of like we have to mirror, not really mirror, but we have to at least put in the effort. I feel like that can be very difficult, no doubt about it, right? L like I said, not necessarily easy, but definitely not impossible, right? You're gonna have to put in the work, but if you do it, I feel like you're gonna be living a really good life. So that's what I would do here. Same thing in like business as well. It's like maybe your business at, is at a certain level and you wanna take it to the next level. It's like there are things that very successful businesses do. So I, I would look at this more, you know, as meeting a certain energy, if that makes sense here, Scorpio. And I feel like that's what's gonna lead to uh, the most success. Uh, let's let, like, why don't we pull an extra outcome? Like, are there any other details we can get on the other side of this door here? Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, you're going to be changing direction here, uh, I feel. Um, you have the death card, you going through a major transformation. The sun is coming up on that card. And the five of swords. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are walking away from something from the past. Death card undergoing a big transformation here. Uh, Scorpio is what I feel for you. Uh, five of Cups. I feel like this is what you're fearing. Like you're fearing being sad. Sevens to me represent internal fears that don't exist. And um, again, I get this energy for a lot of signs, not just you, but it's showing up for you right now that it's like, I feel like people don't realize how much they have to gain um, at this time. It's like he's crying over these th three cups, but if he turned around, he would get the two cups. He would also get the bridge that leads to the castle. So it's like, he's not just getting two cups. He's getting the bridge in the castle as well. And I feel like you need to realize that you have a lot to gain in moving towards the, you know, the new lands on the Two of Swords, even though it might seem like a loss. You have the Four of Swords here, definitely in recovery here. I feel like you're hoping for blessings. Four of Swords, this person is being blessed in this stained glass window that's up here, Scorpio. They are receiving blessings. I feel like you're hoping to receive blessings or you're hoping that you can uh, receive blessings in a certain area of your life. And you have the lovers. Being at a crossroads, pick the new path. I feel like you need to see what's behind door number one is what this reading is saying. You need to see what's on the other side of something that you, you, here that is making you curious, right? Whether it's a new relationship, new business, new whatever, because uh, then you will be successful. But uh, love it, Scorpio. So thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support, Scorpio. But uh, thank you, and definitely enjoy the rest of your month.